Hello everyone and welcome to my second installment on how to use Live2D and make face rigs. This is Live2D Cubism Editor. You can get this for free for about, I think about 38, 40 days. Uh, so feel free to download it if you want to get the, the full version of it for that brief period of time. It, it's, it's worth it to follow this tutorial anyway, but it does give you an insight as to just how good it actually is in its fullest form. There is a free version where there is no timer to it, but just know that you will be limited. There will be certain things that you won't be able to do. It's always worth just getting the, the other free version. But yeah, I would recommend though before you do it to have a face rig ready. So yeah, regardless, uh, this is Live2D Cubism Editor 4.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
draw out your own mesh, you can. But for now we're going to go with the automatic mesh generator. This is by far the easiest way to deal with what you're working with. This automatically creates a mesh for you, for each part. And if you're wondering what a mesh is, think of 3D models and how the mesh works there. Only this is obviously flat and not 3D. Uh, but it does give you some vertices to be able to manipulate the points and deform things. If we go on to the drop down and click on standard, it will create some points. You can also along the way, if you felt like you wanted to make the, the point, the amount of points that you have less, so you can get simpler deformation, you can, you can select little and you can do this with any part you want. You don't have to select it all like I have. You can just select individual detailed uh, meshes if you want. But again, light like heavy is, as you would imagine, a lot of points, a lot of vertices to the point that it lagged. Like, look at that. So it's very, very detailed and it's up to you. It's really up to you, the, the level of detail you want to go. So I'm just going to keep it to standard for now. So we've got some vertices on our parts and now it's pretty much ready to start working with it. So all our parts are here that we have access to if we want them. We can also minimize the folders if we need to. To move on to this part here, this is the deformer list, but this can be useful if you're trying to find a certain part or if you're trying to find a certain deformer and you're trying to rearrange your deformers and such. And with that, we're going to actually talk about how to structure this little guy to be ready for rigging with the parameter window here. I'll leave that to the next video though, but yeah, basically those are the basics of Live 2D so far. I hope that's been helpful for you guys and hope to catch you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in future. And I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!